was deferred, not the last day that uh, you would have expected. Um, did it save you some hard work or was it a missed opportunity this well, final day? We were looking forward to, to, to day five. Uh, obviously, 280 runs to win and eight overs was possible, you know, for the win. Uh, obviously, you can't, can't control the weather. Okay. Um, even though this was a short, a very short and match, um, you had Kirk McKenzie making his, his test debut in this game. How would you assess how he, uh, he handled the situation? Quite good. You know, he came in 15 minutes ago when he first batted and he showed good composure. Which was good. He was still able to hit some boundaries, you know, despite under that pressure. So I think that was that was a good sign. Unfortunately, he didn't go on and get a big score, but you know, I think I think he looked good. And it's just for him to, you know, keep improving, keep thinking of ways to improve, you know, in terms of like, as a batsman out there and you know have different field settings and different situations. But for sure, he he he's going to be good in the future. Did he pitch play the way you had expected it to? He was pretty high scoring in the first. Two or three days. Um, was it? Did it play the way you had hoped it would play? Yeah, expected it to play that way as, as normal. It's always a, a good batting, batting deck. Uh, obviously, it didn't, didn't have the pace and bumps, um, but it, it was good for batting. Okay. Um, final question for me. Um, even though this was a short series, um, what is this series, if I can tell you about the team and the work that you still have to do? As it, when it comes to developing as a, as a tester? Um, I think as a bowling unit, you know, I still think there's areas we, we could, you know, cut down on our run rates. You know, I think at times we, we bowl to, to both sides. Um, so I think we could be a little more disciplined with the ball, you know, controlling, you know, the, the run rate of the batsman at times. And batting wise, you know, we show some fight here, batting over 100 hours, which is good, but the key is obviously to be consistent. And, you know, it, Key to consistency is obviously discipline. And as, as batters, you know, discipline could be if you're practicing every day, you're practicing every day, and you're not taking it off here. So it's just, you know, small things like that, but it shows we have it, and, it, and it's key to, for us to believe it, you know, even more as a group so that we could do it more consistently. Hi, Craig. Um, the next test series is a long way in between. There are a lot of white ball cricket for the players who are playing both formats. But for players who are not considered um, white ball players. What will be the next uh, um, thing for them um, in between this series and the Australian series, especially now that we have a separate bowling, um, a separate coaching um, team for both um, formats? Well, you know, for sure we'll have some camps in between. Um, you know, we're going to Australia cook the world ball, so I think using those balls in those camps will be important. Yeah, so I just think... Uh, you know, specific camps throughout that period is important. I know we have a 50 over regional tournament in October. There's an 18th tour in November, hopefully. So I think that'll be good to get to get some guys going on that tour of South Africa. Um, but yeah, I would say a mixture of you know camps. I think as a group we will have some camps in the future before the series, and obviously along with you know some guys have obviously local cricket back home on weekends, so you can't take that for granted. But it's, it's a mixture, I guess, of, of those. And um, some people have the view that um, the test team would need some players who might be able to score a bit faster. Now, you talk about these 50, 50 over Super 50 tournament. How important will be that tournament even for test players? Well, I think, you know, 50 overs is, is, is a lot of overs, you know, 300 balls. Um, I think 18 test cricket is, 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 is batting, batting for long periods. I mean, scoring. Scoring up, whichever rate, you know, is determined by the box. I think we, you know, we should, as I said, we show good foot here in this game. Um, and they obviously bowl well. And yeah, I, I think we have we have, we have the guys to, to get the job done in, in both tests for And you talked about Mackenzie, and um, you saw what Athenas can, can, can do. Um, what do you say for the future of West Indies in the batting department, especially? Yeah, I think we have we have a bright future. You know, the key the key for us is when we get back home, you know, make sure we work on our strengths and our weaknesses. You know, we come we know we're coming up against Australia in six months time. And we know they're bowlers. You know, so we as boxing we gotta work out, you know, along with the coaches, how we wanna score runs against them. 
the challenge is gonna be starring the ball and swinging the ball. We know that's gonna happen. You know, guys going above 85 miles an hour. Pitches are good for batting, you know, good bounce. Obviously, it's very different from the Caribbean. Uh, but it, uh, there are pitches where our batsmen will, will enjoy more because you can play through the line. So, you know, I think we have the we have the talent here. Just what when we get home, you know, in between the T20 tournaments and the field tournaments, what we do, you know, to prepare, you know, for, for test cricket. And, you know, along with the management, we will have that discussion, you know, coming up in the next couple of weeks and obviously preparing, you know, for the next test. But you talk about the players preparing. Now, do you think that the creators, the pitch creators, could do more to help us in this team? Because in the first test, we put India on a turning pitch. Yes, so seeing that we put India on a turning pitch in Dominica, do you think that the ground staff could do a bit more to assist the home team, the West Indies? Yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, I can't, I can't speak about it really, to be honest. But I think once we could produce good cricket pitches here in the Caribbean, it will help our batsmen, you know. So you know, some guys, every guy don't have a lot of patience. You know, some guys at the pitch really lane, but it's tough on, on certain slow pitches. So I think improving the, the pitches generally will, will help both batsmen and bowlers. You know, the bowlers don't want to put in as much effort to get the ball carried through to the keeper. Um, so I, I do think it's important, and I, I know, you know, we we will be trying our best, you know, along with with you know the, the, the board to, to, to to get the pitches to, to a level you, you want it to, you know, to be classic, good good for basketball. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, it was. <laughs>